Hello peeps, Dogger here. Welcome back and today we are going to implement the best public transportation method in City Skylines, Metro. Now I know that I said in the last episode that I want to redo these areas of camera, but while trying to do so I noticed, wait a second, if you really want to finalize those areas, then you have to put in public transportation. So I thought to myself, hey, why not just do a quick episode about public transportation? I know, I know, change of plans, but my channel, my rules. <laughs> but um, it's gonna be a good one because I'm going to explain how I use the Metro, why I use it this way and why it is, in my opinion, the best public transportation option in the game available. Now, the best, that's a pretty strong, bold statement, right? So there needs to be something to back it up, right? Well, guys, did I ever let you down? Ah, uh, come on. Of course I did my homework on this topic. Now, before I show that to you, let's just consider how the ideal public transport system would be like. Now, I think one criteria is how our public transport interferes with our road network. Because if we have to use traffic management to keep our roads going, we have not won much. So, buses, for example, they tend to behave like trucks, really causing congestion. Trams, they also need kind of either their own routes or they are, when turning left, interfering with the traffic as well, like other traffic does. So, eventually it would be a good idea to have the public transportation completely separated from our roads. This leaves us with cable cars, which are just a single bus load, metro, which go underground, and monorail, which go elevated all the time, or rail. I'm not considering stuff like helicopters or ferries here, because ferries, for example, are very situational, they need a river. Helicopters are really, really expensive to uh, maintain, so blimps are very slow. So let's get all the extravagant stuff out of the way. We want to transport loads of people throughout our city all the time. So we need to have a look at capacity. Now a bus is 30 passengers, same goes for cable cars. Trams are like three buses, metro is like five buses, monorail is six buses and rail are eight buses. So to have an effective public transport system, we need to look at the higher end of the scale, metro, monorail and rail. All three generate noise, which you want to keep away from your residential areas. But since rail and monorail operate on the surface, you also need some trenches for them where they can go along without interfering with your residential zoning. Now Metro differs here, it only generates noise at its stations. And because it is underground, it can pretty much cross everything on the surface without interfering with it. Now you could say, wait a minute, I could also put rail underground and that would have higher capacity at even higher speeds, right? True, but that's where my homework comes in. I took a new blank city and there compared the prices of different connections. I did upload the graphic and the link of course is in the description so you can start it by yourself. But two things caught my attention. First, highways do not bother about elevation or being underground. So if you want to fast connect two districts with each other and you don't want to mess up with all the surface structures, use highways. Train stations cost six times as much as metro stations. And train tracks underground cost nine times as much as metro tracks underground. Monorail tracks are double in price compared to metro tracks. That added up to the other benefits metro provide makes metro absolutely overpowered in city skylines. As I'm trying to build the most efficient city out there, so metro is the way to go. And also, it is actually really time to do this. Time to um, set up the series on YouTube, you know, doing a playlist. So I thought it's time to rename the city to the city of Draken. All right, so I set this up. But before I show you how I did the network and why, I have a question. Would you guys mind me actually spoiling what is coming up? For example, my longer time loyal viewers know that this industry area was just part of the starting tile and is supposed to be 
erased soonish because we are moving our industry over here okay the thing that's replacing it i expect a lot of traffic and for me it would be a little bit easier if i could just talk freely about it on the other hand it would spoil the surprises kind of right so i'm wondering do you guys actually mind me spoilering so this is the uh, metro network I set up here for now. You see I got all the lines in place and stuff like that. It's not too many uh, stations yet. But we are dealing with three lanes here right now. And now it needs a little bit of imagination. Because it is all angled and stuff like that. But in general, this line here goes from the residential area to the commercial area, to something my loyal viewers know what's going to be up there. This line, basically connecting here in this commercial, little commercial section. Nope, there we go. This line kind of splits up, then connects here to this other line, and then kind of drives diagonally to the other lines like in an area over there so it starts yeah hmm. i might actually extend that but for now it starts here and then goes diagonally through the commercial city center thing or scratching it you know i got plans like lots of plans so not going to talk about it right now because I don't have your responses yet. Um, so if you imagine the first line being a straight line from here to there, it's not straight, I know, but yeah, that's the general direction. And this line later coming up from down here, going over there, going up there and also up there. So going that way and this line related to, to the two of those kind of just crosses them diagonally in this direction. So we are kind of building a web thing here with our metro system. And because of the web structure, they pretty much often connect to each other, like in such places where there's just this little street here in both metro station directly next to each other so people can easily switch between them same for here yeah stuff like that so if you set it up this way and may keep the distances from one line to the other pretty short um ideally like as close as here where those two stations are directly next to each other then you pretty much create one easy to travel pathway through your city, basically getting the citizens where they want to go. Residents want either go shopping into the commercial downtown district or they need to get to work. So this means at some time, and I have to spoil that now, there has to be lines coming through here over into the industrial area. Um, eventually though, because we are crossing the river, we are going to add at least one monorail track in here, just because of the little bit higher capacity and, um, neither commercial nor industrial do mind about noise pollution. So that's the ideal place for a monorail or a rail track maybe, but I think we should keep rail for our cargo transport purposes at least for now so let's keep in mind people want to go either to their workplace or shopping so this is how i set up those rail lines uh, another thing workplace wise is they want to visit universities or high schools over there, see, metro station right next to it. 
elementary school, metro station right next to it. So I am basically just connecting points of interest. Let's follow this uh, thing around. A point of interest could be a high residential area with snow station around. Perfect place to put one there. So that's why this station is here basically right at the end connected with those footpasses through the hill to this to the street over here through the playground you're at the station so short routes all right next point of interest next station here well it's a little commercial section so people might want to go shop there so that's why we have those metro stations set up here also thinking about if it if people actually visit a post office to fetch or put post there um, also right next to the metro station i know they don't do that but my imagination how it actually works in real life so point of interest here next point of interest well if you got sick family members you might want to visit a hospital so there's a metro station right next to the hospital crossing here always remember the little trick i do here with the crossings so yeah i know it's not like they don't do that in real life but or in in the game but in real life you actually really want to visit your family members when they're sick uh connected with a pass so we also don't have to worry about the spread of the noise from the station because the park is in the way now next point of interest what could that be up here is a unique uh, building the b haven two metro stations right next to each other again a post office here police fire you might want to get there somewhere as well parking lot for the b haven so yeah that's why those two stations are up there also two stations just because that's a good place to connect those two lines together now point of interest down here well there's a university and there's another school so even though we are going to uh, not spoiling that one anyway it's there's a school <laughs> so over here we have uh, yeah that area i'm not um, inclined to talk about yet so yeah that area and then we end up again that station was in place when i was showing how i set up my commercial area so that's not new that one over here is new so what i'm trying to do here is um connecting multiple lines through the commercial area yeah meaning that stuff is going to go my viewers know that we are going to redo this entire tile here as our downtown commercial office district thing so those need to be extended but first all this starting stuff needs to go also um last episode i told you about this intersection here and the um lowered connection between those two districts um the pedestrians are going to use the tunnel as a footpath I don't want them to get over here because here I removed all the crossings with the traffic manager because pedestrians are not supposed to walk in here. This is for um, traffic only. So from this station if somebody really wants to get over here for some reason the shortest way would be to come down on the pedestrian walkway here, cross over use this pass and then use this pedestrian way to get into the tunnel and then end up in this other area as you can see 
the other metro station here same for them if they are more interested in something that's going to be over here they just you know walk over there use the tunnel and they are over there without having to use the intersection so this is how i do most of my passing always considering that where the sims end up might not actually be where they actually want to go so you need to make proper connections here so yeah as we uh, discussed this um, i delivered my uh, question so i'm looking forward to read your comments and it's i guess time to part again until the next episode so thanks for watching please leave a like if you liked it and we see each other next time bye guys